the oldest institution of higher learning in the United States. From aloft, we view Fair Harvard on both banks of the Charles. When founded in 1636, it had one building, nine students, and $2,000. Today, it has several hundred buildings, a student body of 8,000, and an endowment of over $100 million. At one end of the historic yard stands Widener Library, a lasting memorial to one of Harvard's sons. Stately old elms, surrounded by dignified colonial buildings, form the yard proper of Harvard College, old with memories and traditions. Four American presidents have studied here. Massachusetts Hall, built more than 200 years ago, is still in active service. During the War for Independence, colonial troops were quartered in its classroom. Today, American youth studies the history of that war in those very rooms. John Harvard, seated in front of University Hall, proudly gazes over the great institution he founded. Back in Boston, in the Fenway, is the Harvard Medical School, an outstanding institution for the pursuit of medical science. What inspiration and hope have been given to hosts of American youth, perplexed with problems and uncertainties, who have stood on the banks of the smoothly flowing Charles, dreaming their dreams of future conquest.